You can see we started off with this really simple photo here and through all the different iterations, we were able to create an actual thumbnail for a video. YouTubers like to overhype things, but seriously, Photoshop is completely dead. We're on this webpage here, which is 30 amazing images before and after Photoshop. So this is just people that use Photoshop to edit an image. So we have the before image here, and then we have an after image. So I've gone ahead and I've created a gem that allows me to upload this photo. And my gem basically says, hey, I want you to look at the before and after, and I want you to create a prompt that gives you an exact detail as to what was changed in the image from before to after. Now we can take the starting image, put the prompt that the gem has given us, and we now have an image that looks very similar to the one that was Photoshopped. So you can see this is the one that AI has just generated from the prompt, and this is the one that they Photoshopped. So you tell me, it looks pretty good. So basically what I'm saying is photo editing now comes down to how well you can prompt these AI models, and the better you can prompt, the more likely you can edit these photos. If you haven't been following AI over the last few weeks, definitely subscribe here because I cover AI on a daily basis, but Google has been teasing Nano Banana. Nano Banana is their image model that you've had access if you went to sites like Ella Marina over the last couple of weeks, but now it is live for everyone to use. You can actually see their blog post here, reimagine your photos with a prompt, and you can see like everything. It maintains your look as you edit, and if you noticed, the look of these people are exactly the same. They look identical. So it is working really, really well. We can see here like 90 sitcom and you can see the modifications and edits that we are able to make. This image editing model is phenomenal. Easily the best one that we've seen to date. So let's do this live now. The results are gonna be what they are. We're going to screenshot the before and after. We're gonna to come to Gemini. We're going to go to my gem, which I call image before and after. We're going to paste in our image. We're going to come back. We're going to screenshot just the starting image. That's all we want. We're going to come into AI studio and we're going to create a new chat. If you want access to this new model, you're going to click on AI studio on the right here. You can click a all, you can click images and you want to make sure you click Gemini 2.5 flash image preview. Now we can paste in our image and we're going to come back to Gemini. It is going to give us this little prompt here and let's see what it comes up with. So obviously I don't have to modify the photo like this. I just want to show you that truly you can take some piece of work that someone created with Photoshop and recreate it. So you can see here their version versus our version. And I think their version looks a little bit better because of the white isn't as like yellowy, so we can say that. So just a simple prompt like, hey, make the levitation look more realistic. I want the yellow to look more like a white fog. So we can see, hey, it's going to take our image here and modify it. And that looks really good. That's pretty awesome. So we are going to start with an empty room image here. So let's go to AI Studio. We're on our model. Let's give it a go. Let's try something really simple. Just add a TV above the fireplace and a comfy sofa against the wall on the other side. So imagine this is your room and you wanna like model out your room. Well, check that out. The room hasn't changed. And this truly wasn't possible before. Because now you can edit images really quickly and really easily. So you can see here, I said, hey, make the bricks dark gray and make the sofa red and black and change the fan to something more modern. So we can see our new image here. We can see the brick wall. We can see the room, it's coming together. We can see the TV, our red and black sofa. It's pretty cool. You can even put in prompts like this, where it's like, hey, I'm not sure what to do under the window, but it's too plain. But also keep in mind, people need to walk there. So it can give us ideas. Gemini is capable to give us ideas as to how to edit this photo. So it's saying, hey, let's just add like a nice little table there with some plants on top. And you can see our room is starting to look pretty good. This is what we started with. This is our new room. Pretty wild. I think where Nano Banana absolutely shines though is with people. So we have a photo here of AI Dana. We have a simple prompt saying, hey, can we have her sitting on a bench at the park? So you can see her facial features here and you can see how she looks and it is going to build a photo of her at the park. So you can see here she is, she's at the park and this looks exactly like the other photo we just had. We can change the color of her top. So maybe we want her wearing a red dress. We can do that now. So just our single photo, we 
now have her at the park wearing a red dress really quickly and really easily and it looks good as always you can see the generation here it's fantastic this looks amazing something else to note if i just move myself out of the way you can see that the little logo that they added the little watermark has changed so this used to be like an ai logo now it's just the gemini logo and we have her jumping up for joy okay so listen she is jumping up for joy she's just jumping over the park bench which just goes to show that it all comes down to how well you prompt so can ai replace photoshop i truly believe yes so I said remove the bench under her and you can see her jumping now. All right, so our next prompt is one that Gemini really had a hard time with in the past, which was using text with consistent faces. So we're gonna see how well it can pull this off. My prompt this time around is, hey, can you have her at the side of the road with a cardboard sign that says subscribe to Franklin. So we can see our image now. So she is jumping up, she's on the road, and we have our subscribe to Franklin cardboard. So let's just adjust our prompt a little bit. So instead of saying, hey, she's with the cardboard sign, let's say that she's actually holding it and let's describe the city core with the cars a little bit more. So the more detail you put in, the more likely it is to actually work. So you can see now we have our photo of AI Dana in a downtown core saying subscribe to Franklin. And if you're not subscribed, do it now. It is absolutely wild when you consider we started off with this photo and we have all these different iterations where it stayed consistent. We are going to use Nano Banana to create the thumbnail for this video. We're going to start off by just adjusting myself and my face holding a banana. So we have the prompt, I want to move myself to the left holding a banana and looking at it shocked. So you can see here I am, here I am looking at the banana shocked. My next prompt is saying, hey, this is for a YouTube thumbnail. Can I be facing the right? more so text can go there. So I didn't say what text yet, but I'm still trying to adjust myself and you can see what it's able to do. I have this tab here, which is the hex color of the red that I used for my thumbnails. We're gonna prompt it with a little bit more detail. So I want the background to be black and the text to say nano banana is here. And I want the nano banana to be in white and the is here part with the hex color that I gave it. And my L was missing, but hey, it still was able to do it. The text still doesn't look great. So we're gonna modify that. So our next prompt is, hey, move the person to the left so it's not squished up against the text. I want the text to look look better and make the human face the camera. So we want the human looking at the camera looking shocked and I want to adjust the background so it's not as plain. It needs to be a catchy thumbnail. So check this out. This is our thumbnail now. This is what we have or this is what we have so far. We can still make adjustments. So maybe we want to try a different background for the thumbnail. We can do that as well. So we can say, hey, can we try a different background for the thumbnail? So we can see, hey, does that one look good? Or does this new one that it's about to generate for us look good? You can see we started off with this really simple photo here and through all the different iterations, we were able to create an actual thumbnail for a video. We can even try a background where bananas would be growing, but don't make it overly busy to take away from the rest of the image. Although this looks cool, I think it's a little bit busy. I think I'm going to actually use this one here as the one for my thumbnail. So if you clicked it, Nano Banana worked. Nano Banana is an absolute game changer, probably the best image generation model you can use right now. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this model. Have you tried using it? What does it work well with? What have you had it have trouble with? Love to know what your thoughts are. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Don't forget to like the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.